About a million people in the U.S. are living with Parkinson's disease. There's no cure, but there are ways to keep the disease from getting worse. Wave News reporter Sean Bowdy shows us how some of them in Louisville are literally putting up a fight. Personal trainer Bob Keen's energy is hard to match. But it's the people around him who really pack a punch. They're my inspiration. Go after right here, right now. According to the Parkinson's Foundation, exercise can stall the disease's progression. TKO Parkinson's is a free class for people living with the disease. I've been a trainer all my life, but I've never seen people work as hard and as diligent as these people. Patients of all ages at all stages of Parkinson's can stop by. Margie Rollketter was diagnosed 19 years ago. All right, Margie, square it up. She's stayed active, and when this version of rock steady boxing came to Louisville a few years ago, she took full advantage. If you can learn to ask for help, which I have learned to do that, uh, people are so willing, so willing to help. And, uh, you know, so I just feel, I feel grateful. I feel more loved now than I did before. Madeline Cronin has a bit of a different story. She was diagnosed this year, and up until then, she was as active as walking half marathons. She no longer can, but she doesn't have to give up. I probably will never get back to the, to where I started off with the mini marathons and things like that. But you just keep pushing and you, you, accomplished quite a lot. Friends and family are encouraged to join their loved ones in these classes at Mutual Park Baptist Church. Cronin's always accompanied by longtime friend Mary Tierney and each of their husbands who plan on being there along the entire ride. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a journey. It's a great support. Yeah. yeah. Going to be yeah. A journey. But you're going to be here the whole time. Yep. Oh, yeah. We've been at it 53 years, so another 53 should work good. Find out more about these classes on the storywave3.com. In Louisville, Sean Dowdy, Wave News.